The plan is to automatically save the attachments from all my incoming emails to a folder on my computer. In this video, I'm using a Microsoft environment. Here's what you need if you want to do the same. An Outlook.com free email and OneDrive installed, configured and signed in. If you want to know more about OneDrive, check out the video linked above. It has everything you need. Before you even begin, double check that OneDrive doesn't have any issues. Open an internet browser. If you're using Edge, click here and click Outlook. Otherwise, browse to this website. Click here to sign in. Enter your email and click Next. Enter your password and click Sign In. Now, click here and click All Apps. Note that all the tools on this list are free to use for any registered user. Click here to activate the Power Automate tool. This powerful tool allows you to create automations. In this case, I'm using it to automate attachment handling. There are many things you can do with this tool, but this is for another video. Let me know in the comments below what you end up doing with this tool. Please subscribe. One of the most popular automation processes is this one, which is exactly what you need. Click it to start using it in your environment. The idea here is to create a connection between your Outlook.com email and your OneDrive. Usually, you will have two sign-in links, here and here. But as you can see, mine is grayed out. If you have the same, I'll show you in a moment what you need to do. Click here and pick an account. Then click here and do the same. If this is grayed out, click Data and then Connections. Search for OneDrive and click it. Click any of these options. It doesn't matter which. You just need to sign in. Click here and pick an account. Now, click Home to get back to the main screen. Click this again, and this time, you see that a connection has been created to both the email and OneDrive. Click Create Flow. This will create a basic flow and will display some basic top-level options. Click here to edit the flow name and description. Click here to see your flows list. Now hover over the flow and click this to edit it. As you can see here, this flow has two steps, the email step and the OneDrive step. If you click the email step and then click this, you'll see all the available options for this step. These are all conditions to filter which emails will be affected by this automation process. Leaving all these fields blank will activate this automation process on all the incoming emails. You can choose to run this process for emails sent to a specific recipient when a certain email address is in the CC field, a certain email address is either in the To or the CC field, when it arrives from a specific sender, the importance of the email or a specific word in the subject. Clicking this will show the OneDrive automation process. As you can see here, there is only one action, to create a file on your OneDrive. Click Save and make sure you see this green success message. Now you can test it by sending an email from a different address to yours. Here is my local OneDrive folder. As you can see, I have the regular stuff. Apps, desktop, documents, pictures, and some files. To properly test it, I'm composing an email and attaching a file named test1.pdf. After several minutes, you can see that a new folder has been created in my OneDrive named Email Attachments from Power Automate. And inside it is the attachment from my email. Here are some tips. The automation stops working if there is no activity on the email for more than 90 days. You can still start it manually. The automation will still exist in your account. It will just be stopped. You can share the folder with all the attachments to allow other people on your network access these files. If you think this was a good video, this one should be next on your list.